In this video, we're going to try to balance the equation here for the fermentation of sucrose. This is table sugar, and you use something like a yeast and water, it would ferment, and you get ethanol, and you get carbon dioxide. You can do this by the oxidation reduction method. That might be a good way to do it. We're going to try by inspection first, just see what happens. So we have 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens here, plus we have the two out here. So we have 24 hydrogen atoms. Oxygens, we have 11 here plus we have one in oxygen, so we have 12. Product side, we have two carbons, hydrogens five, plus the one out here, so we have six. Oxygens one, plus the two here, so we have three. Let's leave the oxygens to last, usually a good idea. We could, so here's the problem. We, we have two carbons, we have one here and one here. So we need to find a combination of that that's gonna equal this 12 here. I could put a three here and then a six here. Three times two is six plus six times one. That would give me the 12. I could also put a four and then a four here. Four times two is eight, four times one is eight. So it's gonna be one combination of these. Before I did the video, I checked this out. These don't work. So let's put four in for both of these. So we put a four here and a four here. Now we need to update everything here. Two times four is eight plus one times four. So eight and four, that gives us the 12 we were trying to achieve. Hydrogens, we have five times four, that's 20. Plus we have the one out here times the four, that's four. So that works, 24, it's kind of nice. Oxygens, we have one times four, that's four. Plus two times four, that's eight. And that gives us 12. So this is the balanced equation using the inspection method. If this ended up needing to be doubled, all bets would be off. It would get kind of messy. And you can use the oxidation reduction method to figure out how to balance this equation. That would be better. But this worked pretty well. There's a link in the description how to use redox uh, reactions here to balance this if you want to take a look at that. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C12 H22O11 plus H2O. Kind of a challenging reaction to balance. Thanks for watching.